Hello viewers, welcome to Joyce Kitchen. I hope you are doing good, good, good. Today I'm going to show you a very, very simple Bengali typical origin dish, which we call it Begun Dopeaja. Uh, Begun means origin, and Dopeaja means when you cook something with all lots of onions and chili and uh, tomato and uh, coriander leaf. So I'm going to show you step by step. This is very simple dish and most of the Bengali people they know how to do it. But I'm just showing you guys like how I prefer to do it. And this is the simplest way because sometimes we use yogurt, sometimes we use other spices. But this one is the very simple one and fresh one. But trust me the fresh one and the simple one tastes much better than the other one. So uh, stay with me and check the recipe. So to make my aubergine dopeaja, I actually took medium sized 3 aubergine here. Uh, if you want more, you can take more, but I'm gonna have 3. So I cut them like half inch pieces, you can see that's the, the thickness we want for the aubergine to fry them first, because I'm gonna fry these pieces first, uh, just in a plain uh, vegetable oil. You can use olive oil, it's up to you, but I'm using plain olive oil. So I added one and a half teaspoon of turmeric powder and one and a half teaspoon of cumin powder, uh, two tea pinch of salt and that's it. Now I'm gonna marinate this aubergine for five minutes, just for five minutes. So I mix all the spices with my aubergine pieces, you can see, and uh, I've been marinating these pieces for five minutes. This is not necessary, but... Uh, so in a large uh, pan, I already put like 4 to 5 uh, tablespoon of vegetable oil because aubergine needs quite a lot of oil to fry them. So I already put all uh, some of my uh, aubergine pieces in my wok and I'm going to fry them in slow heat and I'm going to cover it actually because if you cover uh, when you are frying your aubergine, they're not going to soak that much of oil. So you can make your aubergine fry a little bit healthier but if you don't uh, cover it, uh, then they, t they soak more oil. So I added like 3 to 4 tablespoon of oil and now I'm gonna cover this pan. So I already covered my pan and they're not gonna take more than uh, 4 minutes from for each side. And uh, yeah, that's how I'm gonna actually fry all my origin pieces just like that. So after around 2 minutes, my one side is done, now I am going to turn my aubergine pieces to uh, fry other side and as I said, if you cover your pan when you are frying aubergine, they are not going to soak that much of oil. So this is very healthy option because they are going to cook inside with the steam and uh, aubergine is very soft vegetable. So. But uh, yeah, you have to make them a little bit healthier, otherwise they are going to soak like maybe liter after liter oils and uh, we don't want uh, these things, they are going to make our body really fat. Oh. So I fried all my aubergine pieces, you can see, uh, they are really nicely fried. You can do it in the oven but I prefer to fry them in the hob uh, directly. So yeah, that's how my aubergine pieces looks. And now I'm gonna make the dupeaja portion which is gonna go on top of the aubergine. So in the same pan, I'm gonna cook actually my uh, dopeaja portion because I don't want to uh, get rid of those flavors of the aubergine and the spices which I used earlier. So I uh, put here one large onion, finely sliced large onion here. And I'm gonna fry this onion for two to three minutes till they are lightly golden brown. So you can see slowly this onion gonna take all the flavor from these uh, previous uh, uh, spices which I used in the aubergine. Uh, fried aubergine like cumin and chili uh, sorry not chili turmeric so I've been frying my onions nearly two minutes now and they are lightly golden brown and uh, another thing I added actually another one tablespoon of vegetable oil just to fry my dupeaja portion and now here is around one and a half handful of spring onions and few green chilies. These green chilies I cut them a little bit cut them in the middle just to release their uh, flavor and around one and a half uh, handful of spring onion uh, because I'm making for three uh, aubergines so if you are making for more you need more spring onion because the spring onion is the main part of this uh, 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 spread or the piaja whatever you say. So I'm gonna fry them for another two minutes. They are little uh, till they are a little bit soft. Oh, I can already smell so good. So now I'm adding around half teaspoon of red chili powder here. 
this red chili powder gonna give really smoky kind of flavor in my final uh, onions so trust me if you add a little bit of red chili powder that's just amazing that goes so good with the fried onion uh, fried aubergine and this dish is so simple because most of the people Bangladeshi people they know how to make it uh, and uh, it's just I'm showing people because sometimes sometimes simple dish are good dish so and this is one of the good dish so I've been frying my onions nearly three minutes now and you can see my spring onions also goes a little bit softer now and the red chili really is its own color so now I'm gonna add one large tomato I sliced them like that it's just one tomato if you like if you are really crazy about tomato you can add another one or another two it's up to you but uh, one tomato is fine for me so I'm gonna cook this tomato with these spices for another one or two minutes I'm not gonna break the tomato too much I don't want to make this a uh, thing too mushy because it's the pears I need to be a little bit chunky my onions and tomatoes and everything and at the same time I am adding around one handful of finely chopped coriander leaf you can see all the ingredients I'm using is so fresh so you can understand that how good it's gonna be on top of the opposite pieces so this is a very very good dish with white boiled rice or even pilau or you can eat with chapati, paratha, bread, aubergine, you can eat aubergine like uh, any way you like because it's one of the best vegetable I think personally in the world. So after around 2 minutes of frying that's how my onions looks and tomato looks so it's done actually. Now I'm gonna spread this um, dupeaja portion on top of my pre-fried aubergine and that's it I'm not gonna add the aubergine in this pan I'm gonna add this uh, part on top of aubergine so you can already see here you go guys this is my aubergine is ready for you and you saw how simple is this and this dish is one of the yummiest aubergine dish I, I think so I hope you're gonna make this dish and you can eat it with plain boiled rice or chapati or roti or paratha so don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and follow my recipes and share my recipes with your friends family and neighbors and trust me you should make this dish and if you are already know about this dish then you are the lucky one so okay pray for me and bye bye ta ta